Video game collecting is probably something that's pretty important in your life if you are a subscriber of this channel. If you're not a subscriber of this channel, let's go ahead and change that, please. Subscribe down below. But anyways, it's probably something you spend at least a couple minutes on a day, a couple hours on a week, a couple hours on a month, if not more, because it's fun to collect video games, man. It's a great feeling to, you know, get these games and whatnot. And if you're a retro collector, you know that times are probably the hardest they've ever been. You know, there's been a huge rise in retro game collecting for whatever reason, people trying to rekindle their childhood, people not uh, happy with modern gaming, but there's definitely a huge rise of retro games. And those deals you could get five, 10 years ago don't really exist that much today. You gotta look much harder. You gotta do much more digging in order to get these great video game deals. And of course, you know, it, it can be very time consuming. It can be very stressful to try and get these video game deals. Now, one of the things that currently exists in retro gaming is the uh, scam artist. You know, the one who's selling the fake Earthbound for a real Earthbound price, et cetera, et cetera. But there's another thing that's starting to happen the reverse scammer is what I'm gonna call it, that just blows my mind that people do this sort of thing to begin with. And it's something that really pisses me off. So today we're gonna talk about the new cancer of the video game community, the reverse scammer. Why you shouldn't do it and why you're a piece of crap if you do do it. So what is the reverse scammer? Let's find out. <laughs> I had a moment to play on my cell phone at work today and one of the things I do is look in video game groups on Facebook because honestly I've gotten a lot of pretty solid deals from there you know you're dealing with a lot of different people there's a lot of different deals it's definitely more of a buyer's market than a seller's market because you know there's other people selling video games in there so you could offer you know good deals and get good prices on things I've done it a million times and one of the groups I'm in is called trade sell collect retro video games and toys and something else. I don't know, it's called T-Scram for short. And it's a great group. I've been in there for quite a while. I've met, you know, other people in there, other collectors that, you know, enjoy the channel. And, you know, I've gotten good deals from there as well. But today somebody made a post and it's something that I've seen, you know, a couple other people do. But for some reason, I guess I was just bored at work. I decided to just go in on this guy because here's the gist of the post. So this guy made a post on some sort of selling forum. I'm not sure if it was, you know, offer up or whatnot because the post has actually been taken down. But the gist of it was he posted that he had a gold NWC cart and he put an asking price of $25 on it, something like that. And he was accepting offers on it. So of course somebody, you know, sent him a message said, Hey, I'm interested in the cart. I'll give you 25 for it. And he said, Oh well, no, you know, it's uh, $40. Now somebody uh, offered me more. And he was like, okay, well I'll give you $50 for it if you want. And the guy's like, Oh no, now this other guy came back and said a hundred. And he was like, well, you know what? Honestly, I'll give you $150 for it. You know, just to get it off your hands. If you don't want it, you know, that's cool. And then the guy was like, ha ha, I fooled you. I don't have a gold NWC cart. You were trying to scam me by taking advantage of me because I don't know what this thing is worth. This is a real thing, people. This is a real thing. So this person, let's first off, let's analyze this person. This person took time out of their day, grown ass man, took time out of their day to make a fake post, reply to people questioning the fake post, wanting to buy the item in the fake post just to tell these people, hey, I don't have the item in the fake post. And in my opinion, you're a bad person because you didn't offer me more money. That would be like buying a car and somebody just wants to get rid of the car and the blue book value on it is five grand, but they just want three grand because they want to just sell it real fast. Should I say, oh, no, sir, look here. The blue book on this is 5,000. I'm going to give you 5,000. No, retro games are the only hobby where you're damned if you do damned if you don't. If you buy something for too cheap, you're a bad person. If you buy something for too expensive, you're a bad person. You're a, you're a reseller. You're a scammer. If you sell something for too much, you're a scammer. If you sell something for too cheap, that person's taking advantage of you. Like it's so mind blowing that we care about the prices that other people pay on video games. We care about the prices that other people pay on video games. And that's just insane to me. Obviously, everyone wants a great deal. Obviously, we don't want to spend market value or retail value, but guess what? There is an economy in here, folks. So when you could find good deals, you're supposed to take the good deals. Let me give you an example. My NES collection, 80 of these games came from one purchase. 
on a local Facebook group, some lady found some old NES games. She wanted to get rid of them. I said, how much would you like for them, ma'am? She said, $90. I said, will $90 make you happy? She said, yes, sir. I said, okay, I will meet you with $90. She gave me 80 games. I gave her $90. We were both happy. Because at the end of the day, that's all that matters. If somebody doesn't want to educate themselves to know the value of something and they just want to get rid of it, and there are people like that in the world, why should you not just go with it? You're happy. They're happy because they got money. Everybody's happy. Yet, that's not it. Because we have to, you know, sit on these thrones and say, oh, no, you didn't uh, offer enough. You're not a good person. V Retro video games is the only collecting art form that I know of where you are chastised either way. Do you, does this stuff happen in the comic book community? Does it happen in the stamp community? Does it happen in the trading card, baseball card community? I highly doubt it. I highly doubt anybody cares about that. And considering the fact that retro video game collecting is mostly grown ass men and grown ass women, mostly men, but there are some chicks that get into it as well. And we get so angry over people, you know, damned if you do, damned if you don't pricing. It's just insane to me. So the reverse scammer, the reverse retro game scammer to me is right up there with the, with the real scammer because you're just wasting people's time. There's no, there's no end reward here. In that post, I called him out. I said, you look like an effing idiot. This is the stupidest thing. You're wasting your time. You're wasting this person's time for what? And this person just wanted some sort of validation. Like they were doing a good thing. You're not doing a good thing. You're wasting people's time. And you know what? Maybe that guy would have bought that cart and flipped it. Maybe that guy would have bought that cart and kept it for himself. Who cares? Who cares? As long as the seller gets what they ask or something that makes them happy, it's none of your damn business. So folks, let us not do this. This is a childish practice that wastes people's time, wastes people's effort, and it's just stupid. There's no end reward to this. You're not gonna be a saint of the retro game community. You're just gonna look like a lonely, pathetic person with nothing better to do. And if that's the way you wanna look, you can go right ahead, but RGT85, don't roll that way. Thank you for checking out this video. Let me know if you've ever seen these reverse scammers out there, reverse retro gaming scammers. I'm gonna make this a term. We're gonna talk about this. And uh, yeah, thanks for checking out this video. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Leave me a comment down below and uh, check out the next video. I'll catch you guys next time. Later. RGT, hey.